What's going on everyone? I'm Cosmo. Welcome to another video and today I am back in Trailmakers. Now the other day I was watching some port videos of ships getting loaded and unloaded and it was making me feel nostalgic because I grew up in the port town but more importantly I noticed a lot of really cool port vehicles that I could potentially build in Trailmakers. Some of those being a straddle carrier or a reach stacker like I'm going to be building today. Now I've actually been meaning to build like a cargo ship that transports you know these crates somewhere however i realized i don't really have a way to load them onto this ship so i guess in the next couple of episodes i'm going to be building some auxiliary equipment that will eventually help me build uh, the cargo ship that i well haven't built yet <laughs> but in any case like i said guys today we're building a reach stacker and i realized i need to build a reach stacker before i build a straddle carrier first uh, simply because I need to get these crates like separated from each other, you know? And the only way to do that really is with a reach stacker. Uh, because a straddle carrier kind of has to, you know, go around the crate. So these crates right here, these two orange ones, wouldn't really be able to get them with a straddle carrier. These guys maybe because there's enough space between them, but uh, you know, even then, it's probably not the right uh, the right use of that vehicle. First thing that I need to check is actually the size of the container. And as you can see, I already tried doing that. I can't really remove this block now. I can only do it by pressing backspace, but that will spawn me heck knows where. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep it there. We're gonna measure the crate and uh, then we'll just go somewhere else and I'll start building this thing. Oh, hey, I can get rid of it. Perfect. It was not letting me do that earlier. So let's line up with the crate guys and I'm just gonna measure this thing see how big my my pad needs to be okay so basically we need it to be three by five of no four cool three by four of these large uh, large four by eight building blocks so that's good to know uh, that kind of gives me you know a scale to build off of and I guess uh, well I could just I could just start building here, so let's do that. The first thing that I'm going to build is I think the, uh, you know, the magnetic pad or I guess the tractor beam pad that is going to be lifting up these crates. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to build the boom and well, of course, the chassis afterwards. not sure what to build this boom out of because i want it to be light like i i actually decided to build this out of uh, this structural piece rather than the the solid block because it's lighter and it's not going to you know overweight the vehicle as much but for the boom i want to be able to paint it but you can't paint these blocks so it's a bit of a dilemma i think i can always replace it with the structural block so for now i'm just gonna go with the solid and uh if we have to change it then we'll change it I think for now I'm just gonna build a boom and then I can always adjust the lengths afterwards because I'm not entirely sure how long I need it to be but you know for now we'll just start building and then I'm sure eventually I will uh, I'll figure out how long it actually needs to be now the only thing here guys is that I want to do it a little more realistically and actually use pistons that lift up this boom but I don't think I can do that because pistons when being built are in the ex fully extended form but when they're fully extended the boom actually needs to be fully upright which it, well not fully upright but at its you know maximum height uh which it clearly isn't it's at its resting position so this is definitely going to be tough to do realistically unfortunately one way to actually do it would be to have pistons on here as well on these uh like on these back pivots here uh and that will allow me to lower those when the creation spawns in and then when these are fully extended, uh, the boom will be in the right position. So maybe I'll give that a try just for realism's sake, you know? We'll see how the creation behaves. If it doesn't like it, we can always just switch to using only hinges. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna build a chassis. Hopefully we have wheels that are proportionate and I guess I'm gonna see if this whole dealio is going to work or not. I really hope it works. Gotta make sure this chassis is really heavy, right? Because we don't want it to tip over. So I'm gonna line it with heavy blocks and hopefully it survives. <laughs> Trying real hard to make this thing look cool. <laughs> I think I've rebuilt these fenders like three times now, but hey, looking much better, I think. Alrighty guys, I think aesthetically this thing is almost done. I should probably save it, but I think that, uh, you know, we're ready to kind of uh, start programming it and maybe even testing it out. I don't think there's nearly enough weight on it. Let's see how much it is. Eh, it's only a thousand kilos. It's really not that heavy. Uh, we can always add more blocks though. For now, I'm going to uh, try and, you know, program everything and then we'll, uh, we'll give this thing a go. Here we go. I think this thing is ready to be tested, so let's give it a try. I've got these hinges right here completely loose, so they're not actually being controlled. Uh, so technically, we should be lifting this whole boom up with uh, with just the pistons. But let's let's give it a try. Oh wow. Okay, so that actually works. That's awesome. I didn't expect that to work that well. It might be getting caught up somewhere because, as you can see, those pistons aren't fully contracted. Uh, but who knows? I mean, let's try lowering this whole thing. Nice. What about raising it up? Okay, that works well. Something... It's not liking something. I almost wonder if it just doesn't like this interference right here of these blocks. It's possible it just doesn't like that. Let's uh, let's try that quickly. Oh, that's 100% what it was. Amazing. Well, that's unfortunate because I like those blocks, but that's good to know. <laughs> uh, I also think I'm still crab walking. Yep, I am definitely still crab walking. Okay, so we just need to reverse the rear hinges here. Much better. Oh boy, that's reversed as well. Much better. So that allows me to rotate the head, which, you know, will help me position crates. Now, if I go... Oh, perfect. That does the tilt. Excellent. Now, my question is, can we extend these? Nice. We can extend those. Excellent. Let's see how far we can actually lower it. Almost all the way. That's impressive. Dude, that's so cool. I love that. Well, we can try picking up a crate, guys. Let's try, uh, let's see if this thing can pick up a crate. I swear, if it works on the first try, and I don't have to do anything else, I mean, I'll be happy, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's position ourselves here. Gotta paint this thing up, too. I didn't really paint it. Now we need to tilt that down a little bit. Maybe extend it out. Perfect. Lower it. Oh, I guess we didn't need to extend it that much. Perfect. And now if we press shift. Now, can I pick up the crate is the question. Oh, that's awesome. 
Dude, it worked. It actually worked. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I mean, I think... I think I am going to add a little bit of weight in the bag, guys. It feels like it might need it. Uh, I, am, I am a little bit scared to drive this thing around, but we are driving around with it. This is amazing. Oh boy, yeah, definitely definitely need some more weight. Let's add that. Let's add some weight. Let's add a little bit more aesthetics and uh, maybe paint it up because I don't know what else to do. It's, it's working really well. <laughs> uh, I hate when this happens. <laughs> That should be good. That should be, uh, I think that should be heavy enough. Okay, time for more aesthetics. Alrighty guys, I thought orange looked pretty cool, so I figured we'd go with orange. I've got a side exhaust here, I've got some ladders on either side to get up there. Oh, I actually didn't paint these guys right here. Might as well do that quickly, my apologies. There we go, much better. Got a, you know, gas tank that has a hole in it, no big deal. <laughs> uh, I did add more weight. And, uh, well, I guess... Oh, what what are you doing being orange? You're not supposed to be orange. And I think we're good to go, guys. I think we're good to give this thing another try and see if we can actually, you know, maybe even stack some crates. That'd be really cool. If we can't, I'm gonna have to add some, uh, you know, some pistons potentially. But one way to find out, let's give it a go. Should probably save it. Look at this thing. I'm so excited. Okay, let's try and lift up this crate again. Let's line up with this guy and we are going to just do our tilt motion here. Lower it down. Shift. Perfect. And now, oh boy, no. What's going on here? Why is it doing that? There we go. It was a little bit stuck on me. <laughs> There we go. And now, uh, I don't think, man, I can't lift it up much further, can I? That is un... Fortunate. Now, if I extend it fully outwards, granted I have the counterweight, I think, sort of, <laughs> I might need to add a little bit more. I definitely don't have the height to stack this on top of another container. So, question is, where do we add more pistons? I think we should just add more pistons on the actual tilt. Let's give that a try. Oh boy. Now let's see if those guys are fully... Okay, perfect. They are fully compressed. That is good. That's actually pretty, pretty tall. I like it. I like it. Let's try and lift this guy up again. Now I also have my fancy head adjustment here. So if I'm not exactly perfectly lined up, that is not a problem. Okay, so now let's lower these guys. Shift. Perfect. Keeps getting stuck on me. I don't like that. There we go. <laughs> uh, I might have to build it just a, just slightly further out. You know what? Let's just do that right now. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and add another block here. Perfect. That's it. And now, of course, I got to bring this thing all the way down. Geronimo! Oh, no. <laughs> and off we go. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, perfect. I think now we're good to give it a try. Yeah, that's a lot better this way. Now it's not gonna get snagged up on me. Okay, so now we can lift this guy up. Good stuff. And let's see if we can actually stack it on top of the other crates. I cannot wait to transport some crates, man. It's gonna be so cool. This thing is very stable. Like, I'm full throttling. I'm not really too worried about how I'm steering it, so... Alrighty, lift that all the way up. Oh boy. Oh boy. And let's extend this thing. Nice. Nice. We're actually going to be able to stack this, guys. I am so happy about that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now we can lower it slowly. Suck it back in as well. Excellent. Let go. Look at that. I mean, not the best stack job, but hey, it's my first day on the job, all right? <laughs> that is so cool, man. I am so happy with how that turned out. Let's try stacking one more just for fun. Actually, one thing that I want to adjust is the angle of my head there. These guys right here, I think they need to be maybe at like 45 instead of 30. Dude, this is working out so well. I am actually extremely happy with it. This is the first of my like port themed vehicles and I, uh, I cannot wait to have a whole arsenal that is ready to, uh, you know, basically replicate the processes that you would see at an actual port. Uh, I think it's good now. I think it's good. All right, so let's line up with this guy here. Perfect. Now, one thing that I could probably do is figure out a way to uh, make the head angle always be, you know, basically parallel with the ground. Uh, could 
probably figure out something for that. I'm not sure what, but let's just keep playing with this thing. I'm rambling now. <laughs> All right, let's get closer. Perfect. Lower it down just a teeny bit more. Excellent. Are we too far onto it? No, not really. Not really. We might need to be, might need to just readjust a teeny bit. Press shift and we are locked in. Excellent. And now we can slightly lift it up and move it out of the way. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. These are stairs, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't want to go there. Let's go down to ramp. Let's see if we can go down to ramp with this thing. Slightly lift the pistons up. Perfect. Now, I think it makes sense to not go down forward first. Probably backwards first makes more sense. With that said, I might get high centered here. Yup, getting a little bit high centered, but that's okay. I mean, it's working pretty well. It's working pretty well, guys. Nice, nice, perfect. All right, let's place this thing, uh, I guess, just, just over here. And then we can always get another one and stack them. The reach stacker. All right, lower it down, shift. Perfect, look at that. Got a crate there, ready to be loaded. It's not exactly... Ugh, ugh. Well, you know what? Not my problem anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go get another one. That exhaust is cool. <laughs> I dig that. We have a, what, an orange one there? I guess let's get a blue one. Or is that a red one there? I don't know. I can't tell from over here, but let's just get a blue one. Awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> uh, I, honestly, I'm really happy that the piston thing worked on the boom. Because I already sacrificed using, well, not using pistons on the mechanism that grabs the crates. Obviously, I'm using just tractor beams. That's kind of, I wouldn't say the cheat way to do it because they're in the game. But it's obviously the less, uh, you know, the less challenging way to do it. I was going to do a piston clamping mechanism. However, from my experience with pistons and like interacting with other objects, uh, not, not too happy, right? So I just decided to to do it this way with tractor beams and and call it a day all righty let's let's raise this thing up perfect good stuff probably didn't need to go that high but that's okay and let's lower it down move it back a little bit look at that first day on the job loading things like a pro <laughs> dude that's cool that's cool. I don't think reach stackers can go more than two, maybe three, but there are other machines to kind of, you know, deal with that. They've got transtainers, which is a word that I actually only learned today. Um, they've got the saddle carriers, which I will be building in the next episode. But yeah, guys, this, this reach stacker worked out really, really well, and I'm really excited about it. Seems so simple, but super functional and does its job perfectly. I am, I'm really excited about it. But in any case, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the whole port theme. I'm really excited to recreate more vehicles, and I hope you guys are excited to see that as well. But uh, if you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below. Click the like button as well. Helps the video be seen by other people. And check out some of my other videos, guys. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Love it. Absolutely love it.